Hey guys, so in this video I want to create a C program to sort an array of elements. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the algorithm that I'm going to use to sort this, this array will be the uh, bubble sort algorithm. So first I'm going to write a description. This program sorts an array of elements using the bubble sort algorithm. Okay, and I'm going to type how we want it to basically look, so our output. First we're going to ask the user to enter the number of elements that's in the array. So they'll print something like maybe four. And then we'll say enter the four elements. So then maybe they'll put in one five, four, three. Okay, and then we want to print what the array or the elements will look like after it's been sorted. So after sorting, it would be one, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and start programming. First, I'm going to include my standard input output dot h library and then I'm going to create my main function and I'm going to make it void let's see we're going to return zero and maybe a system pause this you can of course uncomment if you are not using a Windows operating system. Okay, so first I said we are going to print into the total numbers of elements. I should probably put this in parentheses. Hopefully it's more than one. And let's create that print statement. I'm going to take this up here and copy it. Okay. And then put a little space here. And then we need to ask the user for their input. So I'm going to create a variable called size because it's tell us the number of elements. So that will be the size. And let's get their input now. Okay, so now we got the size. All right, so let's see. Next, we want them to enter um, enter the four elements. So we want them to enter the four. It's going to be the same four from their input, so it's going to be the size. And then we're going to need a loop to get all four elements. So let's go ahead and create that print statement. I'm going to copy this here, paste it. And again, that 4 will have to be a variable because it's going to change. And that variable will be size. And then we need to loop through four times or the number of size times to get each element. So I'm going to need a variable like i and we're going to create a for loop for i equals 0 i is going to be less than size and then i is going to increment by 1 each time and then we're going to scan for their input now I need to put this input to a variable so let's go ahead and create our array and I'm going to give it some arbitrary size 20 and then we scan in to the array at position I whatever that element is that the user has entered okay 
So now we have all that input. Uh, we want to run the bubble sort algorithm to sort the list of elements. So I'm going to create a bubble sort function. It's going to take in an integer size and it's going to take in the array. Okay, and that's just defining it up there. I'm going to copy this, put this down here. And because it has int, I'm going to return one. It's not really necessary. I probably could have made this void since we're just sorting the array. And so in here, I'm going to want to loop through the array. So I'm going to need some indices. So I'm going to choose i and j for it, for the indexes. And I'm probably going to need a temporary variable to do some swapping um, between the elements. So now this is the actual bubble sorting algorithm that I'm about to create. Okay. And let's start our for loop for i is going to equal the size of the array minus 2. So we're basically starting from the back of the array. Um, i is going to run while it's greater than or equal to 0. And then i is going to decrement by 1 each time. Okay, and within that loop, we're going to have another loop for j equals 0. Uh, j is going to run while it's less than or equal to i. And then j is going to increment by 1 each time. And now within this loop, we need to do some uh, swapping. So if our array at position j so the, the element at position j, if it's greater than the next element, so the next element will be at position j plus 1, then we want to swap. So, so then our temp variable is going to equal our current element at position j. And our position... I mean, our element at position j is going to equal the element at position j plus 1. And then our element at position j plus 1 will equal our temp variable, which held that, that spot for us. OK. So that should do it for the bubble sort array. I mean the bubble sort algorithm. I'm going to now copy this here. And we're going to actually run it. So we're going to take in size. And we're going to take in our array. And this should sort it. Now we want to print this after sorting. So I'm going to copy that. And do a print statement here. Put a little space. So after sorting, well, now we need to loop through again the array. So I'm just going to uh, copy this here. And hopefully it uh, is sorted. Hopefully the array is sorted now. Um, but I don't need to scan like I have here. I need to print the elements. So instead of scan f, I'm going to do print f. And we're going to print the element in the array at position i. OK, so let's give this a whirl. So enter total numbers of elements. I'm going to maximize this. We're going to put 4. So enter the four elements. So 1, 5, 6.
Okay, after sorting, we get one, three, five, six. Okay, let's make it look a little bit better here. Uh, I want a space here. And I'm going to do a print statement here, backslash in, for a new line. And let's run this one more time. This time, let's just put in three elements. So enter the three elements. Let's choose one, five, one, five, and three. After sorting, we get one, three, five, which is exactly what we wanted. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this bubble sort um, algorithm. And I will leave the code in the description below. Please leave likes. Please subscribe. Please become a supporter on Patreon. And thank you guys for watching. I see you all in the next video.